Hello all, we're just having a look through this Pathfinder Lodge that we've got. It's a custom build, 2019, 32 by 24, so two 32 by 12 halves. Go back together for a 32 by 24. It's 69,995. It's got double glazing, it's got gas central heating. It is built to a BS362 residential standard. At the moment, we've got it set up as a one bed with a utility kind of washing room, but that could easily be changed to two beds. And as you can see, you've joined me here in the living, big living dining area, open plan kitchen. Um, it's all big, one big room as it stands. You've got this panelled ceiling, which is nice. We've got LED lights throughout the lodge in all of the rooms. You've got the LED spotlights. And as you can see, we've got a couple of two-seater sofas in here at the moment, but you could put your own furniture in all of these rooms if you want, and we can obviously remove it if, if need be. Previous owners have had a TV on the wall in the corner on the right-hand side here which enables you to then have your fire below. But if you wanted to put that down at a lower level, then obviously you could put a picture over the top of the, the fixings there. So if I step over here, just give you a bit of a view from this side. It's, a, it's just really trying to show you the layout because as I say, it's, it needs someone to come in. It's a bit of a blank canvas. Come in and put your own mark on it, perhaps your own furniture. Um, jazz it up a little bit but as it is it's obviously quite a plain um, sort of blank canvas for someone to, to do something with that they like uh, or what they want to do. We've got doors on both sides of the lodge, so as you can see, there's double doors on the right-hand side there. And then we have a single door over on the left. Got radiators in here, one in the dining area and one there behind the sofa. And then as you can see, walking over to our kitchen, it's an open plan kitchen area. With, uh, you've got a darker coloured wood grain looking sort of doors on the, the top, the eye level ones. And then you've got lighter coloured uh, flat smooth doors around the bottom. Got a breakfast bar over on the left hand side there with those stools. There's a freestanding fridge freezer there with then next to it a wine cooler and then a slimline integrated dishwasher. We do also have an additional fridge fitted here, an integrated under counter fridge fitted. I believe it's an electric oven and a gas hob. The flooring in here, so the, the join goes down here in the kitchen, so as you can see where it's been cut, we can put a new bit of vinyl flooring down here in the kitchen. With regards to the living area space, uh, it's currently just been taped um, just for safety, but we can get flooring and we can just put some new down in the join there and, and that will be fine, but if you wanted some new stuff or some carpet, then obviously that's a, an option as well. I'll show you how the bedrooms are set up at the moment. We are advertising it as a two bed because technically speaking it could be, but as it is at the moment we've got the one bed here um, which is in the corner where we've got um, plenty of sockets in here with three double sockets and you've got space there for a double bed or bigger. Again, if you wanted to bring in your own furniture then it's ideal. We've got a nice big window behind me and then we've got a double wardrobe area here. There's no hanging rail currently fitted but it's a big area that Obviously, you can act as closed storage and uh, chest of drawers below it or something if you wanted to. You've also got a space on the left hand side. Uh, big window there, letting in a lot of natural light. It's a bit of a gloomy day today, but still a lot of light coming in here. And then, as I say, this space over on the left hand side here where you could fit another, you could have a fitted wardrobe built in there if you wanted to, or um, just something freestanding. I'll just show you an example of a bit of a crack here. It is a plasterboard um, build. So as you can see, you're going to have some cracks. There's that one down the corner. Nothing wrong with the lodge. It's just that plasterboard obviously does crack and the thing's been moved. So uh, you are going to have some um, some cracking on the walls. There's no point in going through and really repairing that until it's been delivered. So depending on what you want, you know, if you want to come in and decorate it all yourselves, then that's ideally what you do because then you put your own touch on it. Um, but if you needed something done, then obviously we can talk about that. Turning to our left hand side then, so currently it's set up as a washing room. We've got two washing machines in here and then vinyl flooring. It's a bit echoey in here because of the fact there's not much furniture in here or any and then you've got vinyl flooring as well. But a bit of carpet and obviously some bedroom furniture and things, it would be fine. Nice big window there on that side as well and then we've got a storage cupboard which could be used as wardrobe space. And you've got an additional area next to it there where you could put another freestanding wardrobe if you wanted to. So I think it was previously used as accommodation with a washing room on a park. So uh, as it is now, that's how it's set up, but this could easily be a second bedroom. So that's our sort of two bedrooms and kitchen, living, dining area. And then coming over here, show you the bathroom. Again, spotlights on the ceiling with a panelling ceiling. And we've got a toilet sink and a really nice wide shower there as you can see 
got a half width door that slides back to that point there and then you've got a nice shower enclosure um, with um, I th these are tiled I believe they feel like tiles so you've got a tiled shower nice big shower tray there And then next to that, on our right, we've then got our boiler cupboard with a bit of storage there for sort of towels and things like that. So there's a nice big bathroom and towel rail. And you do have that long window there as well for a bit of natural light. And people do like a window and a bathroom as well for your ventilation. So that's our, our living area, dining area, kitchen, bedrooms and bathroom in here, as I say, as it's currently set up. But lots of flexibility there for you to do something else with it if you want to. Let's have a quick look around outside. The outside of the lodge here, as you can see, it's got this quite nice, deep, thick cladding on it. Um, and then you've got black graphite framed windows, double glazed windows, black guttering and downpipes, and black soffits and fascias. So it's quite an attractive looking lodge, I think, from the colour of it. It blend in nicely somewhere um, and look quite modern and stylish. Nice chrome or silver um, uh, handles and things like that. So it's a nice looking lodge. We've got a gas regulator fitted as it stands um, that was obviously on before with the four nozzles on it for, uh, for, the, for the gas bottles. Um, we could leave that on there if you wanted to or we can remove it. Um, we generally remove them when we're testing um, the lodge so that you can get it done properly once it's delivered and get one fitted yourselves. Looking at the chassis, you can see it's not a galvanized chassis but it's been kept inland so there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's proper solid chassis, so no issues there. Can't show you down too much this side because of the caravan next to it. Got a bit of guttering missing that we're just waiting to come in. Um, but then uh, it obviously looks the same down that side anyway. So that's been our Pathfinder Lodge. It's a 32 by 24. It's a custom build, as I said, for the previous customer. I've shown you how it's set up at the moment. The 2019, so only three or four years old. It's built to BS3632 residential standard with your double glazing and your central heating and it's priced at 69995 If you've got any questions at all, anything that you want to know, um, any questions about what we can do with it, um, how we can improve it or what you can do with it, then obviously just get in touch please. Do just ask the questions and we can find the answers for you. So hopefully speak to you soon and until next time, happy camping, see you again, stay nice and wonderful and have a good day. Cheers.